Welcome to Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. Join me on a trip into rural America going from Canton, Mississippi, way in the deep south, all the way up to Kansas City, taking the small roads through rural America. Join me on this fantastic trip. We are downtown. Woohoo! Downtown. Canton, Mississippi. I'm sure they love having these trucks down here. As much as we love coming down here. At least there's a little room. Ned? Ned Flanders? Is that you? <laughs> Some of you will know what movie that's from, but this isn't where they filmed that. Nor is this Punxsutawney. Groundhog Day. That's what this city reminds me of. I would bet there were some movies shot here with as quaint as it is. You gotta love trucking. Well, I'm trying to find this place. I think I finally rolled up on it. Here in Canton, Mississippi, some kind of clothing place. And uh, now I just got to find out who we talk to. Loaded trailers. This side. Ooh, that's a lot of signs. Oh, we go through that gate, I guess. Alright. Park right here. Alright, they gave us a door, so now we just gotta back in. Get our stuff picked up for Kansas City. Just got loaded and now we're gonna get out of here. All right. Head to Kansas City, one of my favorite towns. So still have to do our paperwork though. I don't know if I can make this turn or not. Let's try it. No, oh, they don't need this gate. Yeah, let's get out of the way so that we can. Do the paperwork, get rolling. We're in Batesville, Mississippi. Batesville is famous for one thing that I know of, and that is they are the biggest casket makers in the country. In fact, we're passing by the world headquarters right now. I see their trucks. 
Actually, that's Budweiser, but they're coming up here. I've delivered to that Budweiser, by the way. <laughs> I see the Batesville casket trucks out on the highways all the time. And I don't know, it seems like these days everybody's getting cremated instead of buying caskets. I don't know if that's true, but I... I think it is true. I don't care about myself. I don't care what they do. If they want to throw me in the ocean and let the sharks have at me, that's fine. We're here at the Loves in Batesville. It's one of the newer Loves. Three seventy-eight for fuel. Wow. And as we go north. It's getting cooler and cooler. When I picked up at the 72, now it's 63. Before, all there was here was that little shell. And so all the trucks that came would have to try to park all of our trucks in that little parking lot and it just wasn't enough. And it's a... It's a game we play. Who looks the smartest and the most on top of things? You definitely don't want to get behind a company truck. So we'll try this guy. No offense to company trucks. I drive a company truck. Batesville, Mississippi. Well, in our trip to Kansas City, we're heading through Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee, that is. Yes, there is another Memphis. There's other Memphises, a, a couple of other Memphis. <laughs> One that comes to my mind right away is the Memphis in Texas, but we're not there. We're at the regular, normal Memphis. How about home of Elvis Presley? How about former home of Elvis Presley? But even the regular Mississippi looks low. Late evening and two 
because it's hilly, and three, because it's a uh, winding road. It's dark, harder to see. I don't mind the dark in the morning. That's I don't mind that, but in the night, for some reason, I don't like it. I guess because I'm tired or... But you figure you're just inches from somebody going the opposite direction at the same speed limit you're going, so if you hit each other at 40 miles an hour, that's an 80 mile an hour crash. Speed limit reduced again. Plus you gotta go through all these little cities. It could be worse. It could be snowing. <laughs> Good morning. Just waking up. We're in a little town called Thayer, Missouri, just over the Arkansas border on 63. Oh wow, it looks like the McDonald's just opened up across the street. Maybe I can run over there and get me some coffee to start the day. The thing about those McDonald's, that when they open up in the morning, sometimes it's only uh, drive through So they'll usually serve me, but I have to wait in line with the cars standing there. And moving up with each car, it's kind of funny. <laughs> and you feel pretty ridiculous, but if you need to, if it's the only place to eat, and it's the only place that's open, sometimes you got to do ridiculous things, and you sure you surely can't bring your truck up there. <laughs> sleeping in today. We're going through a Springfield, Missouri. In one half mile, keep to the right on I-40, airport chocolate St. Louis, and then keep to the left at 0 0.2 miles. On our way to Kansas City, the temperature 53 degrees. I thought it would be colder here. going to be on 44 for a little bit here. And then we uh, merge off into uh, a little road. It's uh, 215 going all the way up to Kansas City. Actually, we're going to Green Valley, which is a suburb of Kansas City, but I usually say the major city so people know where I'm talking about. up here at the good old pilot here in Collins, Missouri.
Still not as cold as I thought though. In the 50s, so I guess I'm a wimp. We're rolling into Kansas City. What is Missouri known for? Mark Twain, Jesse James, of course. They call it the Show Me State. I'd venture to say that most truckers are on 44 in Missouri. Or 70. But I'll tell you, of all of the states, they have their act together. They want to help trucks. They're spending a lot of their budget to turn uh, parking, to get more parking uh, spaces onto 70. And 44, for that matter. Especially in the winter, because it snows a lot here. into Kansas City. Well, we turned off on to Highway 13 going straight north. We're going to meet up with 70 up here. We got a truck, a little pickup truck up here that wants to go slow. Slow like my dad. So it's causing a little bit of a backup. We got four people backed up on a little little lane like this, little road. There's not much we can do about it. Hopefully he'll like turn off to a farm or something. Or he could be headed to Prime. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't send me hate mail. I'm just joking. We are in Missouri, though. <laughs> this guy pulled out right in front of us. He could have waited until the cluster went by him, but he pulled out right in front of us. has no slow moving vehicle placard on him.
and they build that side edge there so our trailers can go up on them. Still, there's a lot of traffic. It's uh, kind of hard to get through sometimes. But I, I do feel safer on those than a stoplight, a rural stoplight where people don't, you know, sometimes they don't slow down for a red light and if a car or truck hits you going through a stoplight, man, you're dead. Well, we've hit I-70 here in Kansas, or here in Missouri. Take the entrance to the left on I-70 West U.S. 40 West Kansas City. Getting on to good old I-70. The funny thing is, in the last five minutes, the temperature went down five degrees. So we're definitely right in the front of the cold air from the north and the warm, hot air from the south. Very next day, the weather changed drastically as one of 2013's major winter storms went through. And yes, there was lots of snow and ice. It actually got down into the single digit temperatures. It was cold. I'm so thankful I got out of there before that came. from our drop in Grain Valley, Missouri, home of OOIDA. I may try to stop there and sign up. There isn't really buddy anyone else that represents us. And I'm not saying like a community leader, I need somebody to be my leader. I, I don't mean that and that's not what they do, but since we're now government re regulated, we have to ha stand together on some things and have somebody to be the front for that. Whether we're a company driver or an independent driver, owner operator, whatever, for instance, what they did for us in Minnesota is great because Minnesota DOT was doing something that was unconstitutional and I have a film about that called Shame on You, Minnesota DOT. You should check that out. It's more of a comical look at it. but. They were taking guys out of the trucks and making them go into some back room and question them with all kind of weird stuff. But check out that film. And Oida sued them and won. So congratulations, Oida. Just as I said in that film. And our exit's coming up. Adams Dairy Parkway. Adams Dairy Parkway. And I don't know if this is just a drop or a live unload. We never know. The truck driver is always the last one to know. Take exit when you want. That is Terry Parkway. And turn the right at 0 0.3 miles. Yeah, they always say, oh, it's just a drop. Then we get there and they say, no, this is a 12-hour unload. I'm not being facetious. I should have looked this on the uh, satellite first. 
Every once in a while, Mr. Rand McNally throws me for a loop. So I hope I don't end up at Ben's farm out in the middle of Jefferson Street. Cornfield somewhere. Oh no, we're going right. You can always tell with all the trucks that have turned right here and mowed down the stoplights. Just like I'm almost doing. We can put a person on the moon, but we can't make a curb that a truck can go around. we don't put people on the moon anymore, so we're going backwards. Actually, that's true. We're go we are going backwards. We're not exploring space anymore. And we should be able to see it soon. this park right here to the left and in the summer it's pretty cool but now it looks pretty desolate well let's see here keep our empties here? Um, if we have any, they'll be in D, um, DC. All right. Let's, actually, that's a copy of that one. Yep. All right, we're delivering to the A section. A is for apples. And I don't know if I'll get an empty or not. She doesn't know. So. be able to get it in here. If I can't, I'll let it out. <laughs> if I get it in there in one try, I'll leave it in. How about that? <laughs> oh, it's a skinny one, all right. Is to try to get it as close to that trailer on the left hand side. Especially with as limited a space as we are. 
and we're looking at our tires because that's our pivot point. And we want to get those tires past that corner, then that means I can turn. And I have plenty of room. Man, a whale can fit in here. Hey. There we go. Okay. Let's get unloaded. I mean, let's unhook. Unfortunately, they didn't have an empty for me, so I had to bobtail out. So I disconnected the trailer and went on to my next journey. Hey, you know what? Thanks for joining me today. I want to remind you to click subscribe on my page here so that every time I put out a new video, you'll get a notification in your email box. That would be great, and I would really enjoy if you came back. Thanks for riding along with me. I'm Indiana Jack, and we'll see you on the next trip.